Have you seen the Mr. Beast Buried Alive for Seven Days video? My name is Keelan Windorf. I'm a professional magician. I've been doing magic since the first grade. However, I've been doing it professionally uh, since I was in middle school, so around 2009. And I wanted to talk about the similarities between magic and the Mr. Beast video of being buried alive for seven days. Now, I know he did this prior for a shorter amount of time, and I, I actually did not see that video. I only saw the seven days one that posted a couple days ago. And I wanted to talk about the similarities of Magic and Mr. Beast currently. Now, the Buried Alive concept has been around for ages. Uh, Harry Houdini's done it, Chris Angel's done it, David Blaine's done it. There's been unfortunately a couple magicians who have passed attempting it. And the, the thing about that is that performing the Buried Alive idea takes a lot of money and takes a lot of guts, should we say? So. If you look in Jimmy's case, Mr. Beast, uh, he had a well-constructed coffin. His coffin had his glass. It looked like a tank. Like it was just a tank underground that you can see out of. And I mean, I know he had some issues where a bolt came off and that, that gave some good, woo. But it was crazy because when the magician performs it, it's usually a way flimsier coffin. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying, it's interesting what money can do when you're down there. It's also very interesting that when a magician does it, uh, we're in an allotted time. So magicians are usually handcuffed or shackled in some way, and you have to escape the coffin before either the weight crushes you or you just suffocate. In Jimmy's case, I find it interesting because it was Mr. Beast, sorry, I keep saying Jimmy. I'm so used to calling him Jimmy. Um, Mr. Beast case, it was uh, like, I don't know if he had some kind of way to get oxygen down there. Uh, I would really like to deep dive in how much of this coffin was constructed because I know he had he had electricity down there. He had a lot of things helping him. So it wasn't like a scary moment where you're just, you're in the dark and you're trying to like survive the seven days. I mean, he had it to where even though you're down there, I mean, it's terrifying having all that dirt above you, but it's just kind of wicked thinking like, okay, well, he has... He has food, he has light. At one point he had Wi-Fi, <laughs> but it's cool seeing um, him go forward with this kind of feat of, I, would, I wouldn't call it magic, but it's, it's a feat of endurance, which I think is interesting because David Blaine did a lot of endurance magic, should I say. Um, Blaine's done Vertigo, which is, if you haven't watched it, go check it out on YouTube. Uh, he stands on a pillar a very tiny pillar with his feet side by side and he stands on this pillar for like days on end. I think it was actually like 48 hours, but it was an endurance. I mean, imagine standing in one spot without being able to move, without being able to eat for that amount of time. He's also done uh, where he was suspended in a glass box in London for I almost think like a month with only with like a jug of water. So, I mean, I kind of see where the magic and Mr. Beast video kind of mend a little bit, where it has some similarities. Uh, Mr. Beast is like becoming like a magician in a way, in his own unique way. But it's interesting. Um, I, I I've thought about doing the Buried Alive. It's gonna take a lot of money and a lot of logistics to do. Uh, it's not gonna be something I'm gonna be doing anytime soon. I would probably have a good team around me to do it, but um, no, Mr. Beast doing that, it's its a very amazing feat. I know that I, I, I live in Indiana and going in tunnels and stuff, they tell you, like not tunnels, but caves. If you go to caves in Southern Indiana, they tell you that if you're not in sunlight for X amount of days, it actually does have mental effects on you. And that's kind of why you see why Mr. Beast was crying in the video. Um, it does weigh on your mental mind a lot, but it's a it was a great video i mean honestly like i i feel he was safe throughout the whole process he had a good amount of people around him if something went wrong there was communication and i think that's the scary part between magic and the mr beast video is with magic when you figure out something's wrong with a buried alive it's already too late but very entertaining video i enjoyed it it was definitely it, it like there was cool aspects of it. I like how everybody dug down to him and was able to say hi to him and stuff. Uh, you know, there was the the one thing that got me that scared me was when the extractor 
came down and scooped the dirt off of him because I thought it was going to go through the coffin. But overall, it was an amazing video. It's I would love to see the engineering on the coffin that he had and just to see like maybe like what would it be like if he didn't have light or if he didn't have certain elements. Uh, obviously, because he is recording for YouTube, it wouldn't be entertaining to watch a 20-minute video in the dark, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. What did you think about the Mr. Beast video? Did you enjoy it? And maybe if there's a magic trick, what would you think he would do next? Like maybe being underwater for X amount of time or maybe trying David Blaine's Vertigo? What do you think? Comment below, but be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.